Ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba. Here's the story of a man named Yoko. He liked to play modded Minecraft. He built a great big base of astral sorcery, and now it's starting to really lag. Welcome back to the big show, ladies and gentlemen. I am your host, Levita Yokel. This is Feed the Beast at Homestead. No, it's not. That was the, wow, that's the original series that from back in August. Um, don't go watch it. It's terrible. <laughs> this is Feed the Beast Revelation. Man, my mind is just gone. So just like that, I have been gone uh, last couple of weeks. If you guys have been hanging out patiently awaiting for the next episode, um, what's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm, no, I'm, 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 I'm just kidding. I'm, I'm terribly flattered and, and maybe just a little surprised. But nonetheless, here it is, guys and gals. And thank you so much for coming back, sticking around. It's, um, you know, it's springtime. Summertime's coming up. The episodes are going to be few and far between probably from here on out, at least by, until, you know, fall comes around and uh, kids get back in school and the weather turns crummy and that kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, I'll, I'll record when I can. So last episode, you may recall, I finished up the Mineralis contraption here. I've had to do a little bit of tweaking on it. Nothing worth talking about, though. So it's still working just fine. The problem, of course, now is that we have, woo, uh, tons of lag, <laughs> is we have uh, all of this stuff down here that we need to do something with. You can see I got there's lots of it. Lots and lots of stuff. One of the things I can do with this I can grab all this coal. Uh maybe just grab some of this stuff out of here and take it over to the uh to the to the main uh workshop. But uh yeah I need to do something with the drops. So I've probably been saying it I know I've been saying it. i I might have been editing it out, but I've been saying consistently for like the last several episodes that I really need to do something about my storage. Uh, and so I started to work on that since the last episode by um, more or less completely ignoring storage and building a road that goes uh, right now to nowhere. Um, I also updated this building over here. Guys, if you haven't been watching Serious Creepers Minecraft series, you definitely should. The dude has got seriously sweet aesthetics, and it kind of reminded me watching his episodes that uh, I needed to put a little bit more effort into my building. And even this thing right here, I think, still looks a little crummy, but it looks a lot better than it did. And it's slightly more functional now because it has, oh man, that lag, woo. It has a second floor that I think I can put some machines up here in. And I was thinking maybe just for fun right now, I just put the, um, the atomic reconstructor up here. I hadn't had a really good place for it over in the other building, and so I don't see any reason to, to you know, have a good place for it over here. Make sure that's set to output. There we go. Uh, so we'll just put it right here for now and get it out of the way. Uh, but I'll, 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 I'll do something prettier with this. I know I shouldn't say that. I should just do it. And, you know, when I started this series, I told myself, Yokel, you're going to build, you're going to build nice things as you build out your base. And I mean, I've tried. I mean, it's not bad, right? I mean, that's kind of a train wreck over there, but it's it's a consistent train wreck. There's some aesthetics to it. We can we can debate whether they're good or bad, but there's aesthetics, by golly. Um, <laughs> and, uh, but uh, yeah, I've definitely slacked off. I The, the vision I had for what this thing was going to look like by now is not at all uh, been... Uh, uh, been achieved, uh, or been been revealed, been uh, I don't know, but there's a word for it. Somebody, somebody can figure it out for me. But uh, yeah, so anyway, watching series creeper, I was like, yeah, I should probably go spend a little bit more time building. So yeah, the, I've I've got this building here. It's looking a lot better, I think. What I want to do is I want to try to uh, collect all the drops coming out of there, store them properly, feed them into machines, store the output. You know, you know the drill. You know how it goes. You got you got storage issues when you're playing modded Minecraft and. I have pushed them off uh, probably about as long as I can possibly stand to, uh, which is what I, I was saying. So I, I responded to that need by completely ignoring it and uh, building a road that goes goes out to here. We probably won't come back over here. Oh, but look, I'm going to show you this. I found this mushroom back here, and it reminded me of my little houses. So I, I'll, I think I'll make this into some kind of house. Maybe if I ever get it. Oh, hello. Yeah. Uh, maybe I'll get a villager and put him in there or something. Anyway, okay. Enough creepers, enough babbling. Let's get on with some business here. Do I have it in here still? I don't think I do. Um, Rustic have, has recipes where you can take planks, uh, like, like so. Here, let's just do one. So you take your planks, and then you grab a, a die and throw it in the middle there, and you can get 
this painted red wood. The problem was, uh, by default, the pack also has the cork recipes for dyed wood, which is the exact same recipe, and it was taking precedent over rustic, and I didn't like the ones from cork. It just didn't, didn't fit my aesthetic. So, uh, fortunately, one of the really cool things you can do is you can go into your mod list over here and see I looked up quark go to config and you can go in here and you can turn on or off like pretty much every single thing that quark adds to the game really really easily super cool you have to restart the game afterwards um, not the map but the whole game <laughs> well, I almost did it there um, <laughs> to get it to take effect but anyway so I turned off the the, the planks from quark uh, and then I started messing around with these planks from rustic and yeah I like them you know they're not super bright, which is kind of cool. They, you know, they're kind of rusty, haha. -ha. But then I decided I didn't, I didn't want to use them because um, it looks like Christmas, <laughs> or or perhaps an olive, which is actually kind of cool. Um, but uh, I'm, I'm definitely using the willow because I just, I love the green. I like the green goes really well with the dark oak, the dark oak uh, wood, the bark. Uh, I don't actually like the dark oak planks that much at all. I think they're about. Uh, and I really like the spruce. Uh, so I was using the spruce planks, dark oak logs, and the willow planks. And I don't know. Um, it's just kind of, it's a little drab. I think it looked great at the outset, but it needs a little, you know, it's a pop to it. So, you know, that's why I was using the stone over there just to kind of give it a little pop, but it's still just a little bland. And so that's when I came across, and look, I'm not going to be able to find any right now. Um, I came across the silver bell wood. I really, really like the silver bell planks. Um, I'll show you here. I think they go really well with this color combo. Look at that. So you got the willow and the dark oak and that silver bell. So that's what I've decided I'm going to use as my accent color for pretty much all of this stuff. I don't know if I may not replace the floor, but I'm going to replace all of these with silver bell and I'll probably do the ceiling yeah, maybe not the ceiling and silver bell but i'll probably throw some silver bell planks in there and uh, definitely what i want to use it for and i won't be able to find them now <laughs> I, i've hidden them somewhere in my base let's let's see if we can find them um i'm going to use them for the storage drawers and so that brings me full circle back to talking about storage yay there they are um so uh this base will eventually be, um, all the storage will be um, run through Applied Energistics 2. Uh, but, you know, Applied Energistics 2 is super cool, but I like to have like kind of a physical presence for my stuff. So I like that the storage drawers and uh, the Yaba barrels over here, Jabba, Yaba, whatever they are, I like that you can see what's in them. Um, I really dig that. And so I want to use the storage drawers as maybe not like all of the storage for the Applied Energistics 2 system, but uh, the network, but uh, the ME network. There we go. Let's use the right terms. Uh, I won't use it for all of the storage for the ME network, but I'm definitely going to have it as part of the storage because I think it's going to look neat. And it's going to be in this building over here. Before I can do that, I need some silver bell wood. And I think that's where we're going to start <laughs> finally uh, with today's episode is we are going to start a tree farm. So we're going to look at the tree beacon from Astral Sorcery. That's right. More Astral Sorcery. I haven't made one of these yet, and I've seen some videos on it, but I haven't watched them in a while, so we're just we're just going to go for it. Um, I'm going to stop, uh, I'll pause for just a second and read these two pages. You guys are welcome to pause the video and read along with me. I'm not going to read it out loud to you, and I'm not going to leave it on the screen for very long, other than right now, while I'm talking. So um, if you're a fast reader, you've probably already read the page, and I haven't even got to it yet. So I'm just going to shut up here for a second, any second now, probably this one. Or maybe the next one. And then I'm going to read this and then I'll come back and then I'll, I'm gonna, we'll start building this thing. Uh, oh, hey, check this out. So I, uh, I I have it set up temporarily and I'll, I'll make it a little bit more permanent later. But I've got a, a way to make blaze powders out of this contraption now. I added this uh, centrifugal separator over here and see it grabs a magma cream every once in a while. And then it does this. Yeah, turns it into a slime and a blaze powder, which is cool because the slime goes right back into the system. And as you can see, we're dangerously low <laughs> and we're getting blaze powders out of it. This was my super lame manual tree farm <laughs> from that I was using earlier. I just would stand over here with a uh, with my water bucket. <laughs> you see all my saplings sticking around here. Oh, I probably need one of those. Uh, standing here with my saplings, my water bucket, and my thing of water, and just growing them by hand for a while. <laughs> sometimes, you know, that's 
sometimes that's just the easiest way to do it. I could set up a machine to do all this, but uh, it might be faster just to do it by hand. Because I just needed enough for this roof over here. But that did kind of get me thinking about the tree farm and how much fun it would be to make one. So here we are. We're going to make one. I think I have everything now. Let's check it out. I uh, got all the leaves. Got the sapling, resin gem, liquid starlight bucket, and the ruined marbles. Yeah, all right. That should be sufficient. Nope. What did I get wrong? Uh, you? Yes. There we go. All right. One, what was that thing called? <laughs> One tree beacon coming right up. And there we go. We'll put the willow away because we don't want that. We want silver bell. I hope it works with silver bells. All right. And where are the, ugh, the mouse is dying, guys. I'm killing it. That's a good sign, right? It means I'm doing it right, isn't it? Uh, silver bell. There you are. Where are the ranged collectors? Yeah, that should that should do it. We'll take two just in case. As per usual, we will be temporarily, quote unquote, <coughs> storing things in a not a chest. That's a bad idea. Let's make something bigger than a chest. Hold on a second. Let me grab some, some wood here and I'll make a, a proper storage crate. I think I might have everything we need here. We'll find out. I might need to get some piping or something, but uh, might be able to get this to work. So I've made this little area out here. I don't know if I've showed this to y'all yet or not. And as you can see, it's incomplete. So maybe I'll try to finish that today as part of the episode. But I've made this little river, pond, waterfall area over here. My intention is to move um, more of the base in this direction. And I thought this area over here might be kind of a nice area for like, you know, villagers and uh, animals and that kind of stuff. Um, but we'll see. So the tree beacon will go right here. It's going to pull stuff to it. Um, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Getting that. Doesn't look like it, does it? <laughs> it is. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right there. Okay. Cool. Oh, great. It's going to reach. Two, three, four, five. Uh, it's going to have to work. It's the ghost bank. I like it. Ghost woods. Uh. Yeah, just kind of trying to line these up so they're a little all off center from each other. Make it a little, little interesting visually, a little chaotic, a little natural looking. Ooh, that was nice. Thank you. They're all coming up the same size. That's kind of weird. Is that normal? Oh, Mr. Bozu, I will fix you. I promise. All right, so cool. Oh, look at that, man. Holy cow, we've already got a stack. Huzzah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see, is anything getting stuck up here? Okay, there are a couple getting stuck up here. That is probably not a big deal. I mean, if we've already got a stack and a half, then who cares if a couple of plant, uh, couple of logs get away? Although, uh, I suppose probably I should make sure it's just a couple. Yeah, that was one. Hello, you like my tree farm? We'll start with a little bit, a uh, little bit of decoration. Uh, let's make some there. Oh, good. <laughs> I just had that thought. I was like, wait, do these make stairs? They do. Yeah, they're, it's the same mod as the uh, the green willow. Um, same mod as the green willow wood that I've been using. So, yeah, should be able to do all the same things as it does. And it looks like it does. Just curious. Natura. Our doors. Ghost wood. Pop seed, eucalyptus. Redwood. Oh, I love redwoods. Okay, all right, so no no uh, silver bell wood uh, doors, but that's okay. Let's go ahead and we'll just put this up here and see how that looks. Do we like that? Oh, we like that. We like that. Now, I might need to get rid of that stone, but I do like the, uh, do you like that wood? That's nice. Yep. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Let's give it a little bit of, a little bit of flavor inside the house here. Is that cool? All right. Do we like that? Kind of like that. I think that's all right. All right. Well, we'll, we'll leave that for a while and see how we feel. Let's put some over here too. Yeah, 
Yeah. I'm in a hole. It's turning into a slideshow. I might just need to reboot my computer too. It could just be something as simple as that. I think though, <laughs> I think it might be this. <laughs> it might be some of this stuff over here. I don't know. That is cool looking. I like that. That's gonna that's gonna work out for me. I can I can dig that. Uh, I'll fix the floor and uh, probably push this wall back now that I'm just sitting here looking at it. I like. Uh, this doesn't make a lick of sense, but I like it. <laughs> so I'm thinking I'm going to leave it. And uh, that probably needs to be planks also. So here's what we're going to do. I, th I think we're going to go over here. And uh, we're going to... One, two, three. So we just need to make sure we don't carve over this part here. That should be just fine. We can do that. No problem. All right. That is brutal. <laughs> that is totally brutal. It's just pistons firing. Why is that so laggy? I don't get that. I mean, is it just the whole... I, mean, I guess it's not just pistons firing. It's like these things are breaking and there's a thing sucking down there. And oh my god, just chaos madness. Let's see. Here you come in. I'm just going to cap that so I don't fall in there. So we can come over here and uh, access some drawers. I'm going to give myself enough space over here that I'm not busting through this wall here. So I'm just going to knock that one out so I can see it. It would be pretty close to it. There it is. Okay, cool. So let's get this rolling. So I need to make a drawer controller. Uh, actually, did I make a drawer controller? I bet I did. Oh, yes. Go, Yoko. Woo! Past yokel coming through for present yokel. It's always nice. Uh, we're going to use this over here, just like we have everywhere else. Uh, so, maybe just tie right into here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, we'll make it. Okay, here we go. Yeah, here's how it work. We'll come up here and hang a right and go into the storage facility. Yeah, there we go. That'll be nice. Um... Maybe I'll put some windows so we can see what's going on in there. That might be kind of fun. <laughs> oh, man. I think for fun... Fun, we'll do the, uh, let's see, blue glax. Just like over there. Edit. Yeah, that looks like it. Oh, it's not centered. That's going to drive me crazy. <laughs> I'm just going to do this one here then. This needs to be bigger. Before I go, oops, before I to go too crazy though, we'll, um, there we go. Let's kind of build it out a little, little bit at a time here. Um, we will definitely want like a staircase that goes up probably, uh, if not right here, then over a little bit. Okay. And now I'm going to go down here. I'm going to start grabbing some stuff, uh, just so I can find places for it. All right. So there's gold. Silver, lead. So that should be everything that it's dropping, which actually is not a lot. Um, I, I knew it was, I knew I had gone overboard here. All right, so coal and then lapis. Put you there. There we go. And then I'll take these weirdos. Um, and let them accumulate down there for right now, and I'll figure out where to put them later. I'm starting to run out of time, so I should probably get on with hooking up at least some kind of rudimentary system to pull our items out of the uh, the mineralis contraption and then put them away. So what do we got here? Item duct? 
Oh, here, look at that. We got tons of these things. Let's use those. <laughs> okay, so yeah, this should work. Uh, that does mean, though, I need to put down a, a drawer for those dusts. Basically, I need to, uh, to catch anything that doesn't go into um, go into here already. So let's, I'm just going to put this here for lack of a better place. And I'll uh, put my sulfur in there and my beryllium. And you know what? I think I'm going to lock these two. Definitely want to lock them because at some point you're going to pull all of the something out of the drawers, whether you mean to or not. And then uh, the thing that's filling them for you isn't going to know, and it's going to start putting stuff in places it shouldn't be, and it's, uh, it's just madness. So yeah, be sure you lock your drawers. Oh, and you don't need to do them individually if you're using controller. You can just do the controller like that, and boom, it takes care of it for you. So let's get a transfer pipe on the back of here. There we go. <laughs> Mining around this contraption is so funny. <laughs> Just keep, you know, all the stones have turned into ore, so. Uh, I suppose I probably don't even need this crate, do I? Oh, I guess I do right now, because it's going to take forever to empty this. Okay, so right now this thing's filling up with gold. Cool. I'm not seeing gold. There it is. Yeah. Two stacks of gold. Okay, there is gold going in. Gold going out. I think I might have a speed buff for that. Let's just go grab that because that's going to take forever. Yeah, it's just two. It's not a big deal. Eh, it's not super fast, but it's working. It, it'll it'll unload this thing eventually, and then I'll just be able to... Uh, <clears throat> well, I should probably leave that crate there as kind of a fail-safe, or a fail-over, just, uh, just in case it does fill up. Uh, okay, so let's see here. So we've got that going. That's cool. That's cool, cool, cool. Uh, let's see. we got, uh, yeah, three stacks of gold, six stacks of iron. I probably, not probably, definitely need to make some upgrades. Um, so let's do that. Uh, storage drawer upgrades, that is. And let's make them nice and beefy. What do we got? Six times value, 32. Reduce the base. Now, I don't need to upgrade all of them immediately. Some of them are probably not going to need to be upgraded at all. But this one right here, faux show, is going to. Because look, it's almost full already. I'm going to go ahead and put two on it. One on you. Yeah, that's crazy. That'll that'll take forever to fill. Um, that one. Go ahead and just do it like that. All right. So what do you got? Show me what you've got. One, two, one. Okay, cool. Uh, and the rest of them I'll just uh, I'll stick over here for right now. We we'll figure out where to put them later. And uh, yeah, there we go, guys. I've got my uh, my start to my storage area. Uh, it's uh, beautiful. Uh, gorgeous but that's the episode guys and gals thank you so much for stopping by no wait a minute one last thing here let's just for just for just for fun just for giggles let's get over here and let's imbue this guy again infuse i say imbue so he's infused right yeah infused not to be confused with confused oh did it put the cutting up to 100 percent nice awesome i'll have to remember that all right, there we go. That is the episode. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for stopping by. I do appreciate the support. I'll save you the spiel, you know, like, subscribe, all that kind of stuff. I uh, hope that uh, the uh, the little bit of work that I did over here with the tree beacon is useful to some of you. I'm going to keep playing with that. That's a work in progress. I'll, uh, I'll uh, purdy it all up and probably rearrange how it's working and figure out a way to grab the drops and bring them somewhere, probably into our storage system. Now, we also got started today. Very, very excited. Um, I've got a couple of ideas of how I want to flesh this out uh, after having uh, worked with it for a bit. Uh, the, I, as I stated, I think probably earlier, the idea I had is completely changed now. But the, the storage is there and it's hooked up and it is happening and that is what we needed. We needed the storage part to happen and now it's happening. So that's going to pave the way for the rest of good stuff. We'll get the some processing going and um, uh, I think I have. Let's see. 
yeah, I have all of the presses to start the ME system. I, I don't think I have near enough um, RF being generated to run an ME system, but it's, it's something. It's a start. So there we go. So, hey, everybody, thank you so much for stopping by. I terribly, terribly, terribly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, B2B. -bye,